day to go on out and prospect out uh, new mobile homes. Um, I mean, seriously, think about all the times you binge watch or something like that on Netflix or whatever, and uh, the hours and stuff that you'll probably spend there and not accomplishing anything. Anybody can go for a ride. It's actually pretty fun. So when I'm out looking for homes and stuff, what I like to do is, you know, there's always like tons of resources out that you can use. And, you know, people are always posting stuff on like Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace, whatever the case. So there's some research and stuff to be done before I actually do pull out of the driveway on days like this. It's nice and overcast. It is nice and hot down here in the south. So we're riding in the car right now with the AC and stuff blowing, just looking for and sniffing out those deals and stuff. I was just looking around this house, I can already tell. It's gonna need some pressure washing and stuff. It's got a unit and stuff outside of it. Nice selling point. People always wanna know if there's a unit and stuff that comes with a home. Let's take a look inside of here. Now this is a foreclosure that we've actually run across. And from the looks of things, it's actually pretty nice in here. Uh, it's got some appliances and stuff in here. Counters don't look in bad shape at all. Uh, what I like to do is when I come into a home, um, I like to go on ahead and take a look around everything. So we're gonna take a, a walk around real quick. Uh, see what's going on in here. The carpet is hideous, but that's not a problem. That's to be expected in some in homes and stuff that have been lived in. So, you know, if you wanna go on ahead and make the most bang and stuff for your book, look for stuff like that. Uh, another thing is too, while I'm doing my walk around, I'm checking for solid floors and stuff in here. Not a bad setup. There's a master bedroom right here. Massive cockroach over there on the wall. <laughs> okay. And okay, we have the master bath, obviously. Not bad. Like I've said before, in some of these older homes, um, you're going to find carpet in the bathroom, and that is a no-no. So if we do go on ahead and buy this home, I already know that I'm going to have to come in here and replace this right here with some vinyl because carpet tends to hold uh, water and that will cause you to have soft spots, especially in a particle board floor. Um, it with, in, uh, with comparison to like something that was made with like plywood or solid floors. Check on these. If you're gonna have soft spots, they're gonna be around your windows, gonna be around your toilets, your tubs, <laughs> Let's go on in here. I guess this would be like a secondary right here. So, so far, this is really looking like a uh, three bedroom, two bath, which is not bad. We got two bedrooms right here. We've got our den area right over here. Got a nice fireplace and stuff. That's an added value and stuff to the home. Uh, looking around, I also do not see water spots and stuff on the ceiling either. So that's great. That means I don't have to come in here, mess around with any sheetrock, any popcorn or something in a can. Uh, you'll probably see us work with something like that a little bit later on. So for right now, I'm just going to take a look at these closets really quick. Not exactly walk in, but still, this home right here is very doable as far as being livable here. It's nice. It's very nice. I've walked into worse homes. So now that we've done a quick walkthrough, I like to try to go and look at the data plate and stuff on the home. And your data plate is going to give you a lot of details and stuff about the home, like when it was uh, made, what kind of wind zone and stuff it is and everything. So you'll typically find your data plate Sometimes, most of the time, it's going to be in the kitchen cabinet somewhere, and we have to hunt around for it a little bit. It's not up there. Uh, and if you can't find it in the kitchen, 
it may actually be in the master bedroom closet or the pantry if you have one. No data plate here. Let's look over here. To the bathroom real one time. And here we are. Let's take a look at this data plate here. So here's our data plate right here for the home. So looking at this data plate, I can tell that this home right here is constructed for wind zone one, which means that it cannot go into Florida, but I can easily sell it. Like here are gonna be your wind zones right here. So you'll look for that. Now don't get a uh, wind zone confused with, um, let's say climate zone. Uh, those are two different things. Here's going to be um, my VIN number up here. This is also the date of manufacture. I can tell this home right here was made in 2000. And there's a HUD tag number right there. So this is everything I need to go on ahead and verify. Um, basically, uh, some things about the home, when it was made, where it can go, um, how old it is, who made it. Uh, and also the VIN numbers to make sure that this place has a, a clean title because people want to know about things like that. So, uh, moving on. Hmm, looks like it was, looks like it was open all the time. <laughs> Tell me that door doesn't look like something out of a horror movie. All in all, not a bad mobile home. Now something like this right here, uh, depending on you know what, what it is that we do with it, um, could turn us a nice good profit right here. And you're gonna walk into homes that are much, much worse than this right here. So walking into something like this right here is like a gold mine because we can purchase this thing right here for little to no money and make a huge profit off of it. Something like this right here would probably go for about a good $25,000, $30,000 easy uh, if everything was uh, fixed up in it and finished. And a lot of the times you can actually pre-sell your homes before you can actually, before you actually go in and do anything. So that's what I'm thinking about doing with this, right, with this place right here. So I want to take a moment to give a special shout out to a couple of people. Luther Edmonds, you are my first Patreon member. Thank you so much. Your support is absolutely appreciated. And also Stacy Jenkins, who bought me more than a couple of cups of coffee. Uh, thank you guys so much. This video is dedicated to you. Without people like you, content like this wouldn't be possible because I quit this YouTube channel and just go back to making money with mobile homes and not teaching people things for free. So that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video, which I'll be uploading tomorrow, where I'm going to be talking about what to do when a mobile home is missing a title. So you don't want to miss that. See you guys in the next one. Peace.